this exam question is looking at the use of a uh, least squares regression line. So we're giving some information about uh, a small restaurant uh, and Alex visits it on 10 separate days and records the number of customers already seated, X, not worth jotting down, number of customers, and the waiting time is more variable Y. Let's ask to calculate the least squares regression line of Y on X in that form. So we can just use a calculator for this by putting it into stats mode. So mode one, I need to use line. Now your calculator is different from this, it might have a different way of accessing this mode. You'll have to consult your manual. I should end up with something looking a little bit like that, and I'll be able to put the data in in pairs. So I want to make sure I put it in the order x then y every time. So I'm going to put in 9, comma 11. Data to enter it, it tells me I'll be set. Number 3, data 6 and so on and so forth. Once I put them all in, I should be able to check that I've got the right amount <coughs> because I know I've got 10 separate days here. So alpha, if you press 0, N above it, that tells you the number of sets of data. So I know at least I've put in the right amount of them. I may of course have uh, pressed the wrong button at some point to try to avoid doing that in the exam. All you need to do then is find your values of A and B. So we can just press A, A, read A symbol there, equals it tells me 2.3118 so I would say it's about 2.32 so it's going to be y equals 2.2 plus and then if I have a value of b using the same method so alpha b equals 0.886 and that's a a little bit tricky is the interpretation of it in context so if we think about it in terms of what they actually mean, it's in the form of a straight line here. So I've got an intercept, a y intercept, and I've also got a gradient. Well, the y intercept occurs when x is zero. If we back up here, we'll see that x is the number of customers. So when the number of customers is zero, zero, that'll be zero, my y value, the wait time will be 2.32. So I can write down for this. Uh, uh, average wait time of 2.32 minutes when there are zero customers. So that's the first one, the, the 2.32. The second one is about this, the gradient. So I'll think about the gradient in, in terms of a linear graph. It's the uh, amount of the graph uh, goes up in values for every one across on the x values. So this 0 0.886 is the is the increase in the wait time, the y value, for every increase in the x, the number of customers. So uh, it's the increase 0 0.886 minutes in the wait time, it's really important you put these in context rather than just say x and y, we actually talk about what they, what they mean in real life, it says in context here, uh, for each extra customer. Make sure you get for the two marks, two complete sentences. Okay, and it says uh, use your regression equation to estimate waiting time for these two here, so all you've got to do is very straightforward. Uh, two marks is just plug these values in. So I just have to put in for the first one x is 5, because this is for 5 customers already seated, which is x. So it's going to be 2.32 plus 0.886 times 5, which gives me 6.75. And similarly for the next one, 2.32 plus 0.886 times 25, 20.5 essentially. Okay. And finally, comment on the likely reliability of these estimates. So in this, they'll be looking for you to use um, <coughs> some specific terms, uh, like for instance, residuals, which you mentioned here, right, and also about um, uh, the, the interpolation or extrapolation. Now, interpolation, if we do a quick sketch, let's scratch off something. Okay. Now, here we've got um, an x value of 5, which is the number of customers clearly within the domain value. So this is interpolation to be a reasonably within the restriction that residuals are between plus 1.1 and minus 
one. So for the first one, first estimate is likely to be reasonably accurate to within plus 1.1 and minus 1.1 of the value because that seems to be what my residuals are within so it should be around 6.75 but maybe 1.1 above 1.1 below within those boundaries. The second estimate however we look at what it's asking for is asking for a value of 25 uh, for the number of customers. Well the highest value I've seen so far is 12. Although this seems to be a fairly linear relationship thus far it might not continue in that fashion. It might uh, increase or exponentially. It might sort of level off. There's no way really of me knowing. So this is extrapolation. So the second estimate is extrapolated so it's likely to be unrealistic. 